Now, it's not just in Britain that politicians have been out and about on their soapboxes. In Germany, party leaders have spent a last day on the stump drumming up support before tomorrow's general election. Chancellor Angela Merkel is predicted to win a record-breaking third term, but the price of victory could be a coalition deal with her main rival. Our Europe correspondent Matt Fry reports from Berlin. You need to be pretty confident as a politician to put your face on the back end of a bus. But lacking confidence has never been Angela Merkel's problem. In a party traditionally dominated by macho men, she has outwitted them all. Just ask the one on the right. Her mentor, the former Chancellor Helmut Kohl, used to call her Das Mädchen, the girl, until she ousted him, that is. Frau Merkel may not be the Iron Lady, but there is metal in her manner, and as a candidate she deploys lethal likability. Here she was talking about the challenges of keeping her hair in place at a rainy outdoor rally. The audience loves this stuff. <laughs> but what she lacks in razzmatazz, she remedies in substance, and not too stodgy either. On Europe, for instance. Germany needs a strong Europe, she told the crowd. That's where our exports go, that's why we have to help others, adding they also need to help themselves. <laughs> Angela Merkel's tough love on Europe is popular at home, but as she soldiers to the next rally, I wonder whether this woman can ever find the poetry to inspire wayward Europeans rather than just berate them. Outside, a veteran observer of German politics sums up the country's conundrum. It's sort of like always being the tallest person in a row of short people. You know, you, you don't want to stand out quite that much, but you know you do. So what's all the complaints about? Because this is the Germany that everyone wanted. I know, I know, I know. And I, I guess if it wasn't for the plight of the euro, th there would be almost a, you know, a collective sigh of relief about how, how relaxed uh, the Germans are. Relaxed? Not Olaf Henkel, a prominent economist with a spectacular roof garden. And of course, there's, there's the, the Reichstag. Reichstag yes. and, uh, Your favorite you, building, yes. The here. tangled web of the euro has worried him and others so much, they founded their own political party, calling for an end to the currency. Germany, as the uh, potential largest creditor of uh, the eurozone, is constantly pushing itself into lecturing other governments of what to do. That is not very good for uh, peace in Europe. You know, before the Euro crisis, Germany was the most liked country in Greece. When Frau Merkel was there three months ago, she had to be protected by 7,000 police. In a square nearby, the leader of the opposition Social Democrats echoes Angela Merkel's views on Europe. In fact, the two main parties might even form a grand coalition. The rest of Europe may be in uproar, but Germany finds itself comfortable in its own skin.